This will truly be the golden age of America. That's what we have to have. As the dust settles on the 2024 US presidential election, preparations are underway for the formal transition of power between President Joe Biden and President-elect Donald Trump. Trump, set to take office on January 20th, 2025, will once again assume the role of Commander-in-Chief after winning a fiercely contested campaign against Democratic nominee Kamala Harris. It is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? This historic moment marks Trump's return to the White House, making him only the second US president in history to serve two non-consecutive terms following Grover Cleveland. Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. It will be settled quickly. Quickly. I will get the problem solved and I will get it solved in rapid order. And it will take me no longer than one day. I know exactly what to say to each of them. I got along with very well with them. I got along very well with them. The transition process. The period between the election and inauguration is known as the transition of power, a critical phase during which the incoming administration prepares to take over the functions of government. Biden and his team, despite the heated campaign, expected to facilitate a smooth handover. January 20th. We'll have a peaceful transfer of power here in America. Aides from both sides have already initiated preliminary talks, and the Biden administration has reportedly instructed federal agencies to cooperate fully with Trump's transition team. This cooperation is vital for national security briefings, policy reviews, and key staffing decisions. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition, and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. A fundamental principle of American democracy is that when we lose an election, we accept the results. That principle, as much as any other, distinguishes democracy from monarchy or tyranny. And anyone who seeks the public trust must honor it. At the same time, in our nation, we owe loyalty not to a president or a party, but to the Constitution of the United States. President Biden is expected to deliver a farewell address in the days leading up to the inauguration, focusing on themes of unity and democracy, while underscoring the importance of a peaceful transfer of power. While tensions remain high between supporters of both candidates, political analysts believe Biden's commitment to upholding democratic norms will help ease the process. I will never, ever let you down. Trump's return, how quickly will change come? With his second inauguration scheduled for January 20th, Trump's administration can technically begin implementing changes immediately upon taking office. In fact, many of his proposals could be enacted swiftly through executive orders, which do not require congressional approval. Trump has already promised to roll back several of Biden's executive orders, particularly those related to climate regulations, immigration, and healthcare. By leveraging his executive authority, he can effectively undo many of Biden's signature policies within the first days of his presidency. What do you do differently and how do you change this course that it seems we are on for World War III? How do you get us out of Ukraine? How do you stop what's going on in the Middle East? How do you put a stop to this? Well, it's, it's a very, uh, to me it's an easy question because I think I can do it easily, but it's a complex question in the sense that the times change, every day changes. Uh, who's winning, who's not winning. I mean, Russia's a war machine. Whether you like it or not, it just grinds along, grinds along. You speak to people like Viktor Orban. What could you do just, now? If you well, get into office right in January, now, what, what right could you now, do now? Right now, uh, you would get both of them. I know both very well. And, and again, I, I cannot, I do not want to tell you, you know, for the purpose of looking smart to five people that, you know, that say, oh, he was great, because 
If I told you exactly what I do, I could, I, I could never make the deal. Trump's campaign heavily focused on immigration reform, and he has vowed to reinstate stricter border policies, including the resumption of wall construction along the US-Mexico border. This policy shift could be among the first major changes enacted. We'll begin the largest deportation operation in the history of our country because we have no choice. We have seen one estimate that says it would cost $88 billion to deport a million people a year. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Is that what American taxpayers should expect? What price do you put on national security? Is that worth it? Is there a way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? Of course there is. Families can be deported together. Trump's campaign also highlighted plans for new tax cuts and economic incentives aimed at boosting domestic growth and reducing inflation. While substantial changes to tax policy will require congressional cooperation, Trump's economic team is expected to move quickly to draft proposals and negotiate with lawmakers. Trump's return to the White House could signal a dramatic shift in US foreign policy. He has already hinted at re-evaluating the US stance on the Ukraine conflict and re-engaging in trade talks with key global partners. Changes in diplomatic strategy could come swiftly, as Trump has historically preferred a direct, top-down approach. And Amer America is just not, not just going to be great. America is going to reach heights that it has never seen before. The future is going to be amazing! Your money is being wasted and the Department of Government Efficiency is going to fix that. We're going to get the government off your back. Here is the deal that I will be offering to every major company and manufacturer on Earth. I will give you the lowest taxes, the lowest energy costs. Challenges and expectations. Trump will be inaugurated on January 20th, 2025, at a ceremony held on the steps of the US Capitol. The event is expected to draw massive crowds, with his supporters eager to witness the start of his second term. As tradition dictates, Biden is likely to attend the inauguration, symbolizing the peaceful transition of power despite their political differences. In his inauguration speech, Trump is expected to lay out his vision for the next four years, focusing on themes of national sovereignty, economic growth, and what he terms a restoration of American values. The address will likely emphasize his plans for swift action and a return to his core policy goals from his first term. While the nation braces for what is sure to be a turbulent but eventful transition, both supporters and critics alike are watching closely to see how Trump's return to power will shape the future of the United States. America will start winning again. 